From the KDLM studios in Detroit Lakes, it's HodgePodge with Carol McCarthy, presented by Partnership for Health, and now airing on TV3. Said if you're, if you, even if you've been here for a couple of years and just haven't had that opportunity to get out like you wished you had <laughs> or have, a uh, great opportunity to kind of make the one-stop shop there uh, at the pavilion. Yeah, and we're going to do something unique. We're going to do a giant concierge desk. Oh. So we've got tons of information from lots of organizations throughout the whole region. And then we've got area experts from the city, the um, Mahubi, the Chamber of Commerce, and so on, all there to answer questions. We do this all day long, so we think we can make the connect and make sure you find that resource and that person that you need. All right, and it is free to attend. Exactly. You can buy your dinner or whatever you'd like to do down there uh, right at the pavilion. So that's a great uh, thing happening on September 5th from 5 to 7. Carrie Johnston from Detroit Lakes Regional Chamber of Commerce in the studio with me this morning and talking about some of the things now as we're heading into the uh, final quarter uh, of uh, 2019. Uh, also, you've got the Splash Awards coming up. Let's uh, t- tell us a little bit more about that. This is a brand new event for the Chamber of Commerce. And what we're trying to do is really recognize those who are in the community and uh, doing a lot of good for the community, not only for the Chamber and the business community, but the community as a whole. So we've got seven different awards. And we're going to be announcing award winners at our Splash Awards, which is an afternoon on Thursday, October 3rd from 3 to 5 at the Holiday Inn. But in the meantime, we're really looking for nominations for those awards. Anyone can nominate someone. You can nominate your own business, organization, maybe a place you volunteer or know a fellow volunteer who really gives a lot. We probably have a category that fits anyone who's giving back to the community. So with seven awards, uh, come nominate. We want as many nominations as we can get. So stop into the chamber or shoot us an email, give us a call. We will make sure you have that nomination form and get that information out. And it's a really simple way to nominate someone, Carol. Literally, it's tell us a little bit about them, their contact information, and one or two paragraphs. So it's not a big lengthy process. We just want to make sure we're recognizing those in the community. Okay, and you said there's going to be several awards given out? Yeah, seven of them. So we've got a little bit of everything in every category. All right, uh, Carrie Johnston from the Chamber of Commerce in the studio with me this morning. Uh, so, if, yeah, if you have somebody in the community that is a great supporter of the community, I uh, want them to be recognized for all they do. A uh, great opportunity. And this is a part of, uh, I guess, you didn't really have a chamber banquet this year. So this is kind of taking... It's the place sort of, of yes. It's a new event. It's not going to be the same, but it is a new event for this fall for, and we're titling our Splash Awards. Okay, I like that. <laughs> and uh, that's coming up in October, so plan accordingly and get your nominations in uh, also. Uh, Carrie Johnson is joining me from the Chamber this morning. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with more and uh, some of the summer events still ahead uh, on in Detroit Lakes next on HodgePodge. Now, back to HodgePodge with Carol McCarthy on KDLM Detroit Lakes. Welcome back to HodgePodge this Monday morning, August 19th, 2019. Back in the studio with the Chamber President of the Chamber of Detroit Lakes, Carrie Johnston. And uh, we're talking about some of the things they've got going on uh, as we head into September, which is just a couple weeks away. Uh, But also, Carrie, one more of these kind of summer-ish events coming up is the DL Cruise Night, the last one. It's the last one. September 11th, it lands this year. And we've done uh, four uh, or three already. This will be the fourth one for the summer. And this is our ninth year. So we're excited. We've done, uh, I counted up, I think we had 40 cruise nights in the last nine years. So we're excited to have uh, this one coming up September 11th. If you haven't been down, they start at 4 o'clock. Um, the classic cars come down, nanny car, rat rod, muscle car, whatever you've got, bring it down, come down to the Rossman entrance, and then our volunteers will help you find a place to park along Westlake Drive. If you're just here to come see the cars, park anywhere on the side streets, in the public parking lots, there's lots of parking over in the fairgrounds, or even walk over in the pavilion. It's usually a beautiful night and a night you're there to walk, so find a good parking spot, come down. It's free admission, free for the cars, free for anybody who's coming to visit We just want to get people together and come enjoy some cars and a good night on the beach. Right. Yeah, there's some beautiful old cars out there. I think we were behind one this last this last time. Like, oh, this is 
that's a really old car. <laughs> like, oh yeah, it's DL Cruise. It <laughs> is. And in August, we had our record number of cars. Uh-oh. We had 345 wow. cars. We were squeezed in like sardines, but we really had a great night. It was nice to be out on the beach. And, you know, these cars aren't just local. We have a lot of local support, but they're coming from Ada, from Fargo, from West Fargo. They're coming from a 50 mile radius or more. Wow, that's neat. Yeah, great draw to the area where people can spend the evening, maybe dine in a little bit to dine out at some of the establishments down by the beach and take a walk and see some cool things. So that's coming up uh, September 11th, the last DL Cruise Night for 2019. Carrie Johnston from the Detroit Lakes Regional Chamber of Commerce in the studio with me this morning. Also, you have another event happening on September 11th. We do. We're actually kicking off that day with, we're calling it a Community Connect open to anybody who wants to come learn about what's happening in the community. We've got featured speakers from the county, the city of Detroit Lakes, of course, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, the DL Public Schools, and a few others are going to be scattered throughout telling us updates on projects, um, upcoming, maybe road construction or or, uh, things coming on board that are coming down the pipe. So you're really just going to know what's happening in your community, but especially when you start talking city, county, and school district. Okay, so who are some of the, the folks, actually? Um, we've got Mike Brethorst from the county, uh, county administrator. We've got Kelsey Clem, city administrator. Um, and actually, Becky Mitchell from the museum is going to be talking about their project and their capital campaign. Um, I've got a board member from the Chamber of Commerce telling all about the things that we're doing. And Doug Froke from the school district and others. We're still lining up our speaker series. And then it's going to be a breakfast at the Holiday Inn. It's ten dollars. You get a light breakfast, and the Holiday Inn is actually going to be doing some tours following our meetings. So if you you know haven't seen the Holiday Inn for a while or kind of forgot what all the nooks and crannies are, they're opening their doors. Come see a room. Come see what their facility is like. Um, they've got a new paved parking lot and been doing some improvements. But also just want to reinvite. We see a lot of our tourists are here because they have some sort of community connect. So um, they want to reacquaint the locals with what the Holiday Inn has to offer. All right. So, yeah, a few things to mark on your calendars. Visiting with Carrie Johnston from the Detroit Lakes Regional Chamber of Commerce today. Of course, uh, September 11th, a couple things going on there with the Community Connect in the morning, the DL Cruise Night in the evening, and you can fill whatever you want in between. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Also, the Welcome to DL uh, event happening on September 5th in a couple weeks from 5 to 7 at the Pavilion that we were talking about, and then the Splash Awards happening on October 3rd. So some of those things to put on your calendar. And again, Carrie, uh, folks can find these events all on your community calendar on your website. Yes, visitdetroitlakes.com has got an events calendar. You can find not only our chamber events, but things that are just happening in the community, whether it's uh, triathlons and golf tournaments and and all the like. We love to put events on our calendar. And then, of course, um, we really make sure our members know what we're doing as a chamber of commerce and what's happening in the community. So if you're interested in membership, you always get a monthly newsletter, a week e-blast we really try to communicate what the community is doing and opportunities for your business so uh, give me a call or stop into the chamber and if you want to learn more yes and it's a great opportunity or a great place to stop in and uh, see what the amenities in the community are i mean we've, we've got a bit of summer left here in the area and i know people are always visiting they come you know where can i rent a bike where can i rent a You know, a pontoon, where can I rent a paddleboard? You have that information. We do. We'll connect you wherever you need to go. And not only here in Detroit Lakes, but maybe you want to get out. We've got information on Itasca and Tamarack Wildlife Refuge and the great places that are uh, opportunities here. If you're new to Minnesota and visiting the area, let's get you out and get the bucket list going. All right. And uh, also another... Uh, thing that you started through the chamber, uh, you have a leadership group that you have going on. And has that started up yet or that starts here in the fall? That will start in the fall. Actually, September 12th will be our kickoff day. We do still have a few openings. So if you're interested in some leadership training, we'd love to have your application and and get you plugged in. This is something that's geared towards uh, not only business leadership and um, learning some skills like conflict uh, resolution and and just working in the workplace with other people, but we're also doing community leadership as part of our focus. So you get to take a community tour and really learn about opportunities and um, you know some some strengths and weaknesses and places that we can really use some help in our community. So we do uh, community leadership and business leadership in this one. All right, so a good place to connect, uh, plug into the community is your first stop should be at the Detroit Lakes Regional Chamber of Commerce with Carrie Johnston her, and her staff down there. It's right off 
of Highway 10 on Summit Avenue and a great gateway to uh, Detroit Lakes. Uh, anything else to add this morning, Gary? You know, stop into the chamber if you've got people coming to, or you just need to, you know, fill that time of we want to get out but don't know where. We've got a fall color tour brochure that I just love. It is so fun to just see those perfect places to see the fall colors. And, you know, in, in Minnesota and especially in this region, all of a sudden we go from summer to fall and the colors start popping. So don't miss out on the great places to see all those fall colors. We've got tons of information on um, resorts and um, things to do and guides from that are printed maybe in the newspaper. We really try to be that information source. We also have a really great meeting room. So if you need a place to meet, we can accommodate about 20 people, really comfortable, nice and quiet. Maybe it's a great place for a job interview. We try to be of service to the community. So stop into the chamber at any time. All right. That sounds great. And uh, stop in today, check it out. And if you, like you said, I think I've got a couple of events coming up as far as like swimming goes and I always like to send out packets of information uh, to, to teams, you know, where to eat and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we've got some guests coming in for a wedding. Uh, and uh, that uh, is always fun if people are inquiring of where to stay and stuff like that. So, yeah, great opportunity to stop in and check it out. Also, I just wanted to mention, too, is if people are looking... Uh, to get involved, you do have a lot of committees that they are able to get involved yeah, in. Yeah, we've got 13 plus committees and some task forces and um, opportunities from ambassador visits, just popping into businesses and saying thank you to um, you know, opportunities to really dig in and maybe uh, take a an event under your wing. We've just did crazy days in art in the park and we worked with WeFest Shuttle. There's just so many things that we need help with. Um, we want this community to be welcoming and an opportunity for people to get involved. And we've got lots of opportunities at the chamber. All right. Uh, very good. And are you going to be on hand at the Boys and Girls Club open house? This of week? course we are. <laughs> <laughs> so proud to be able to open such a great facility. I got a little sneak peek last week and wow, you will not be disappointed. They spent the money well and the kids are just going to be so lucky to have a great facility. And my opinion for workforce to be able to attract people to this area, when we have a shiny beacon like that, it's a, it's a wow moment to, to keep adding to our arsenal of great things here in Detroit Lakes. Yes, right up on the hill. I noticed they put the logo up and it's, yeah, it does look great. So that's happening on uh, Thursday. I think. It is. <laughs> yes. Stop after work. They've got tours and um, they're going to have some treats and just an opportunity to come out and really tour that great facility. Yes, it's always fun to go with those ribbon cuttings with the big scissors and, and everything. The, the, we had the groundbreaking not too long ago and now the ribbon cutting and it's all, uh, it's all good here in the <laughs> Detroit Lakes. And Carrie, thank you so much for coming in today.